Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Philip Johnson. Philip Johnson was an American architect and the first to receive the Pritzker Prize in 1978. He was anti-Semitic and trans by fascist philosophy and a Nazi sympathizer, all of which he later regretted. His introduction to architecture was as a curator in the Museum of Modern Art and then on his travels in Europe as a journalist. Though he studied under the architects Walter Gropius and Marcel Breuer, most of his works are influenced by Ludwig Mies van der Rohe and his modernist style. He is quoted saying, "I got everything from someone. Nobody can be original." As Mies van der Rohe said, "I don't want to be original. I want to be good." Philip Johnson was best known for his postmodern and modern architecture. He spent the greater part of his career designing modern architecture such as the infamous glass house which he designed for himself. The design for this building was clearly influenced by the Farnsworth house designed by Mies van der Rohe which was built slightly before it. The observation was never denied by Philip Johnson. Philip Johnson's philosophy was to never be boring or bored by his design. He said and I quote I guess I can't be a great architect. Great architects have a recognizable style, but if every building I did was the same, it would be pretty boring. What he did believe in though is that all architecture is shelter. All great architecture is the design of space that contains cuddles, exalts or stimulates the person in that space. Even though he says he does not have a style, after careful observation I have made some conclusions. Number 1. In terms of nature, environment and climate. Philip Johnson's glass house was in a space that experienced bad weather. However, he did not allow himself to be limited by this. He said, "Storms in this house are horrendous but thrilling. Glass shatters. Danger is one of the greatest things to use in architecture." He also liked to admire such storms from the glass in his home. So we can conclude that like other modernist architecture, at least for the larger part of his career, he did not allow the surroundings to influence his art. Number 2 in terms of forms and material we can see from the design of several buildings that as mentioned earlier he did not have any particular material or form he used however i feel that he liked to explore using many varied materials and patterns through his architecture this is a picture of johnson and burgi's designed lipstick building and ppg palace as we can see the form is non conventional the material has a similarity of glass though An observation I made while viewing different buildings designed by Philip Johnson is that he used a lot of glass in his structures. While he used interesting materials like red granite and steel in the lipstick building and textured shell stone and bronze in the Amon Carter Museum, Texas, he tried to make use of a lot of glass. Some structures which he has designed by himself including his home literally named the glass house the crystal cathedral the IDS center in Minneapolis and the Pennzoil place represent this favoritism Another example is Johnson's New York State Theater now renamed as the David H Cock Theater which also uses a lot of glass on its facade Another observation I made is that though he believed he did not have a style, he tended to design unique compositions and manipulations of basic forms. Take for example the Chapel of Saint Basil on the campus of the University of Saint Thomas in Houston, which was completed in 1997. The building was designed using three shapes: a cube, a sphere, and a plane. We can also see it in the basic sheet shapes used for the Crystal Cathedral as well. I would like to end with a quote by Philip Johnson that will hopefully inspire you as it did me. I hate vacations. If you can build buildings, why sit on the beach?